We have a crew that's on scene of a, a person that apparently been drinking. He's had a seizure. But he's got a dog with him, and the dog is uh, not letting the crew get anywhere close to him. We got to try and figure out how to get to him without uh, getting attacked by the dog. There they are. You have any food? Nah. It's not a friendly dog. <laughs> started snarling, snapping at us. Oh. oh, he's big. Yeah. What's his name? What is it? How can we get to you without Molly attacking us? She was snapping at us just a second ago. Hey, Molly. Hi, Molly. Yeah, I can do Good girl. Taking care of your daddy, huh? She comes over just so sweet and wagging her tail. And I was like, OK, she's not really aggressive at all. She let me pet her. Is there any way you can stand up? Yeah. Come on, Molly. It's all right, girl. Girl. So if you could probably stand up and just get to a stretcher. Yeah, I think she'll be OK with that. Don't move too far. Uh, 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 uh. Don't move. You're moving way too far. Oh. The medic that was on scene starts to make a little move towards the patient. She's very protective of him. Well, as soon as he took a half a step, she would lunge at him. And I was like, oh, this is not good. Don't move, like, too fast. There's no way that she's letting us approach him. None. Uh, 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 uh. Molly, no. Stand down. Uh. Oh, look, you come sit on the stretcher. We'll grab your stuff and we'll get going, OK? All right, don't touch him. Let him do it. Well, we're not going to leave her. We'll figure something out. All right, so you want to see if we can raise the stretcher and kind of start to see if we can move him? She's peeing right now. She's distracted. All right, Molly. She's back. Molly, no. Stand down. As soon as we go to, to raise the stretcher up and secure him, there's Molly again. I mean, you can't blame the dog. That's, you know, she she's protecting him. She knows something wrong. She stands on top of me when I have a seizure. You take medicine for your seizures? You can't afford them. OK. I like 75 bucks at five. I got you. You don't have any food, anything to give her, huh? I need my backpack. So I'm digging through this guy's belongings. I find some dog bones. Perfect. Here, Molly. Keely, you don't think the dog's going to bite you if we start rolling away with him? Oh, we're going to find out. I mean, I could get one of the stretcher straps off. You could tie it to the end of that. OK. Just kind of throw it over here. Give me two stretcher straps, and I'm going to tie the tire. I'm going to rig it up around the tree and tie it to the tree. Come on. All right, all right. I hope she's tied good. We managed to get the dog secured enough to get the patient out of the area and into the ambulance. Uh, NOPD is going to sit out here with the dog because they, they can't just leave her out here. It's a public park. So the other police officer is going over to the patient's sister's house. And uh, hopefully he'll, they'll be able to get her to get over here and come get the dog. I actually can relate to Molly. You know, she's trying to protect her owner, who she knows is injured or sick. In a sense, we do the same thing. You know, we protect the people of the city, the people that we care about uh, who are injured and sick. Be safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're going to bleed to death. <sighs> Ransom, ransom, ransom. No, they're not dead. I can work with that.